Hey, how are you guys? I'm so sorry I'm running late today. The kids are home for spring break and it is a little chaotic around here. Um, it's just been, it has been wild and crazy and we had a lot of things this morning. Um, one kiddo had a play date. One of my kiddos was stuck on building Legos with his dad and <laughs> sitting on the floor crying because daddy has to work too. <laughs> mm. But it's been crazy. So I'm glad you're here. Um, if you're here, let me know where you're watching from. If you're here for the replay, hit hashtag replay and let me know. Um, I'm just super excited to be here crafting with you. And again, sorry, I'm running late this morning. It has just been chaos. So hey, Chris, I know I'm sorry. The kids are having a rough time. Um, one little kiddo, I don't know, had a play date. Um, and so Joe took him, but then the other two were just, those are my two that struggle more than normal to my, my two outside the box kids. And so when we have some changes in the schedule, it gets a little crazy. Good morning, Deanna. So yeah, thank you for being here. No, I'm sorry. I'm running late. I texted I was running shortly late and then we had the crying on the leg floor Lego incident. So he wanted this big Yoda Lego because we are love Star Wars, but um, it's really too hard for him to build by himself. And so he was like stuck on having to build that this morning. So, um, hey, Juanita. Yeah. Hey, Deanna. Hey, Amy, I know you've got to run in a little bit, but thanks for popping in and saying hi. So, um, ah, hey, Tammy, I'm glad you're here. Yes, some days are like that. You know, we do our best. Oh, we have Lori, first time here. Everybody say hi to Lori. We're glad you're here. Yeah, if it's your first time, make sure you let us know so that we can say hi. Um, if you are in the Joyful Crafting Club, I'm working on the names, guys. I spent 12 hours yesterday cutting wood so and packaging wood. Not for the club, for other orders. So I, those are going to get up. I want to do a video of it, though, when I put them up. So just if your name will get up there, I promise. Um, hey, Pam. Hey, hey, Kim. So glad you guys are here. Hey, Mary Beth. Mary Beth is here. See, it's such a great group of ladies that come here. Everybody's glad that Lori's here for the first time. So let me show you what I thought we would do today. Um, I want to teach you how to napkin craft on faux shiplap um it's super simple it's a lot of fun i need a box knife um i don't think i grabbed my we have right now about 33 so it's a good number to start with and um yeah we have about 33 and uh, we had a couple people join um at, like right after we closed so yeah, it's going to be a great group. So let me, um, let me add my second camera here. So if you've never napkin crafted on, here we go. Okay. If you've never napkin crafted on, um, on faux shiplap, it's, it's, it's really not any different than crafting on any other shiplap. Um, yeah, Deanna, I am going to be busy. In fact, today we're cutting wood, like lots of wood. Um, so, and we, um, and like tons of wood. So, and I have some fun stuff planned for next month. And then also for, that's the April's box, May's box. Yep, May's box too. I'm already made plans for May. Hey, Diane. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so today I thought we would make, um, a shelf sitter to kind of go next to a, like an Easter tray or on your mantle or something, but sometimes it's fun to have like a second piece sitting next to your tier tray, just because it gives it something else to look at. And it depends where you have your tier tray, whether or not that makes sense. Obviously if it's on a coffee table, like that's going to make sense. Um, that's not going to make sense, but if you have it on your kitchen counter, or in a corner or on a like a sideboard or a buffet that would make um, a lot of sense so um 
and it looks really cute and it gives you some your eyes somewhere else to go right because that's the whole thought behind a tear tray is to have lots of little things for your eye to look at right so it gives one more piece so yeah this is just a shiplap bunny i actually made this last year in like a like a not a front door hanger size but like a closet or like an interior door hanger size because those doors are a little smaller i'll take a picture of that and post it so you guys can see it so i'm just giving this a quick stand to get um and it's it's bigger but it's um and i did it a little differently last year it's a little glitzy um but yeah it's super cute so i'll show that to you guys i haven't posted a picture of that this year yet so where's my tag cloth? um okay so the first thing we're gonna do is is just take the um oh hey diane diane's here we're just gonna get this cleaned up so i'm gonna do this in buffalo plaid guys to match um this tray back here um that i did in the aloe and the green that everybody loved the color so much so i thought we'll just do something to match that oh my gosh tammy says she's getting snow in oregon I, my goodness i am ready for it to be done so when i lived in texas if we were going to get a nice storm it was march every time Every time it was March. I'm going to use brushes today, too, even though I don't usually do that. Um, so we're going to do some buffalo plaid napkin art. And we're going to... So I'm going to put the buffalo plaid here and here. I'm going to paint this green. And I'm going to paint this white. Okay? But because I need white on the um, whole thing for the napkin to look good, the first thing I'll do is, is paint these white. Okay? Okay? Oh, uh, in Washington too. I'm ready for, I'm like ready for the sun. Who's ready for the sun? I am. So yeah, I am so excited. Jennifer's here. Hey, Jennifer. Um, We had some, some kid meltdowns this morning. So this is really, this stands up. So this is one of those, see, it stands up. So it's got a little piece so that it'll stand. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready for the snow to go. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So, um, yeah, I'm ready for the snow to go. I could have left the tape on this one if I wouldn't have been talking and thinking. Um, sometimes I do that. So, um, I'm going to take this and just go down it. Yeah, so it's, it's um, gray. And rainy in Columbus, sunny in Michigan. That's good, Diane, because I am ready for the sun. Um, I am so ready for the heat. My um, I'm ready for the heat. I'm ready for all the things. Um, good morning, Rosario. Yeah, we're going to make a shiplap. If you're just joining us, we're making a shiplap. I'm going to show you how to um, napkin art on shiplap. I was actually, okay, the reason I thought we'd do this is because on faux shiplap, I was on, where was I, Pinterest, and I saw that someone legitimately took their napkin and, like, cut it in the shape to fit this before they put it on. And I thought, nah, we're not doing it. That's a waste of time. Like, there is no reason to do that. So... Um, there's no reason to do that. I'm going to take this. So yeah, this is just a fun way to add something else. And so any of you guys, like this is a super cute cutout for Easter, but a lot of times too, like <clears throat> when you're out and about, um, you'll find, you'll find, wood cutouts. So, so the wood cutouts that drive me crazy. <clears throat> Has anyone been to like, you know, you see the wood cutouts and they have the words and the shapes all glued on there. And I look at those and I just think like, why, 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 why would anyone want to like buy that and have to like paint around all the things? Like it would just make me crazy. And I can't imagine the amount of time it would take to make that actually look good. 
Oh, Pam is saying, oh my gosh. 84 yesterday and now I go, the weather swings. I feel like they get crazier and crazier. I don't know. I feel like they get crazier and crazier. Um, I feel like the temperature shifts, but so I, those woodcutouts, like I'm not a fan of because the amount of time that it would take to like actually go in and paint it, all of those things don't, I'm, I've got a little paint in these lines, but I'm not going to worry about that because I'm just going to scrape it out with my tool. Okay. This is from the Dollar Tree. It's called a scoring and piercing tool. But they could also call it a paint line cleaner tool. Okay. <laughs> That's what I use it for. I don't know if I've ever scored or pierced anything. So, um, the weather is just crazy. So, how many of you guys are napkin crafters? If you have crafted with a napkin before, in the comments, put yes. So, I know. If you've never napkin crafted, Put no. Simple, right? Yes or no? Yes, if you've nap napkin crafted. No, if you haven't. Kind of helps me figure out how much I need to tell you guys. Okay. We've got a lot of yeses. I, shouldn't, I got this on my mastermind trip. I love this thing. Like I... Okay, Deanna's in treat. Okay, Mary's never napkin crafted. Okay, Deanna, she's in Miss Tracy's. We all love Miss Tracy. Y'all know her napkin club is open. Um, and she does a really good job at um pulling a bunch of different napkins together and teaching you how to use those. I um in our joyful crafting club, all if we're using a napkin for the craft, I'm gonna include it. Um, but yeah, it's a different um it's a different thing. Okay, so Mary. And Mary's watching on YouTube. Hey, Mary. So, napkin crafting, let me tell you what it is. It's basically where you take this napkin, and we're going to use it, and we're going to basically use it to screen print on here, okay? So, when we're done, it's going to look like it was printed on there, and then it saves you from having to, like, go paint to, to like, paint buffalo plaid or whatever that is. It's going to look really cool. Super cute. So because this one and this one are going to be covered with a napkin, I'm just going to leave those as they are. I'm going to touch up the middle with my brush a little bit. Okay, Tammy's in Tracy's club. Yeah, love Miss Tracy. She's in my business group. Um, She is, and she is, you guys, she's just as kind in person as she is um, online. I mean, she's just so sweet and so thoughtful and so helpful. And that is just who she is, you know? So we're going to do this. I just want to touch this one up. I'm going to do some, um, some aging with the home decor wax here. Um, so yeah, I just want to get a nice coat in the middle because that's the only place it's going to show the other two places we're going to cover up. I do like my paint lines nice and clean guys. I, I do not because I want it to look like faux ship lab. I don't want it to look like, I don't want it to look like three days bad road. I mean, I just, and that's how I feel like it looks if you don't clean up those paint lines for a faux ship lab. There's other times where you paint over it and that's how it should be, right? But this should not be. So. Okay. So now we're going to get the aloe and I'm going to paint this side aloe. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, we had so much kid drama this morning. We get one sitting at the top of the steps crying because his dad has to work and can't build the, the it's not Yoda, Yoda, it's Grogu. I love Grogu. Um, 
but yeah, so much. Oh, we got a question. Um, yeah, I'm going to paint the base. It's right here. Um, you could leave it natural if you wanted. Um, you could paint it black. I'm just in my head. When I see it, I just see it white. But I could actually paint it black because it's the bottom. I might paint it black. Let me think about that. I know. Um, but you could do whatever you want. And it's two-sided. So you paint it one side. If you don't like it, flip it over, paint it another color, right? Yeah, the home decor wax is awesome. I'll show you guys how I use that. Um, let's paint this side. I forgot my water. And Joe's on a call, so I can't I can't text him and tell him to bring me what I forgot. Oh, um, okay. So I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna go here in the edges. These are these um hello Jennifer, these are the Hello Hobby brushes. Okay, should I spill the beans or should we wait? Should I spill the beans about Friday night? Next Friday? Jennifer, I'm talking to you. If you're still there, answer. Oh, Abby was, I know the kids. I mean, Abby was panicking so much she couldn't breathe. The kids. Um, they just get so. This is not, this, this painting does not need to be skilled. Guys, we just want the wood covered. I'm going to do, we're going to go back over and dry brush it with the white. Um, okay. Yes, yes. Let's talk about it. Okay. So Jennifer and I, you guys know we're besties. <laughs> oh, someday we'll tell you how we bonded initially, but that's like, maybe not for, that's for like a small group setting <laughs> with no replays. Um, it, it was just something that we saw online and we were both kind of horrified by it. And that's how we bonded. So, um, but next Friday we're going to have our, we're going to do craft wars. And so basically, um, she and I are going to do, we're going to do a live together on Friday night. It's, we're going to do it once a month. So this is season one, episode one of craft wars. And we're both going to craft the same, same thing, but she's going to do it her way and I'm going to do it my way. So. It should be a lot of fun. So if you're at home next Friday or even if you're out and about, we want you to hop on live and watch us because we are going to be, um, we're going to try, I think, I think we can stream to both pages with the, the new updates that StreamYard put in. So she'll be crafting something and I'll be crafting something. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It is going to be a lot of fun. Just as a way to give, it's really just educational base. This is just to show you guys, okay, these are two different things you can try and do, right? And, um, and you know, we'll both make something. The, the, like, for example, I'm probably over explaining it. But if we were, if this was Craft Wars, she would have the exact same base as me, but she's got a plan for it and then I'll have a plan for it. So it'll be so fun. Yeah, it is going to be so fun. So just to show you guys a couple of different ways to to do things, because I one of the things that we hear a lot. Hold on just a second. Is that is that people say they're not they, they feel like they don't have that creative bug or they don't. Um, yes. While having fun and chatting. Yes. Um, so they feel like they're not creative or they feel like they don't have enough creative juices or whatever that is. They feel like they're kind of just. They don't have it, but the truth is the more you do it and the more you see it, um, the better um, and the more you execute it, then that kind of builds a muscle. Yeah, like 7.30 or 8.30, probably 8.30 my time and um, 7.30 central. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now we need Mod Podge. I've got this satin Mod Podge here. And I'm just going to put it here and here, okay? And I'm, I want it to dry. Um, and I really want to get a good coat of that on there. So that um, 
because I want it and I want it to go all the way to the edge, which I'm probably going to come back with a brush. I might flip this and do the other end. Okay. Yeah, just multiple ways to do the same thing. So that'll be like um, Friday. And if you're um, on my text list, you'll get the notification. Um, here, let me add this here. Okay. If you want to get a notification for a reminder about that, make sure you're on my text list. And then we'll, we'll make sure that you... No. The other thing I want to tell you guys is make sure you go to my page, amyandart.com. Okay, this is shop Amy and Art, but this is my website, amyandart.com. If you go there, get on my email list so that you get updates, or if you miss it, you'll um we'll both have it in our like emails so that you can go back and do it. Um, and just that way you can you can keep up to date with what we're what we're doing. Okay. So make sure you go get on my email list at amyandart.com. Okay. So, um, yeah, but Craft Wars will be, it'll be a lot of fun. I'm going to let this dry. We've been talking about it for a while. We just could, we were back and forth about what to do. Okay. So, and just again, teaching you guys new ways to look at crafting. Because we're like, we both work with wood, but we both do things very differently. Let me go back to the comments. Oh, okay. You love to, yeah. So, you know what? I think, so for me, um, with my kids, when they were really little, I used to bake. I used to have a food blog a long time ago. I don't know if anybody is here, but I did, and I did recipe development. I did gluten-free and sugar-free recipe development. And um, I wrote a cookbook and I worked for different companies and I wrote for magazines and, um, and I worked for Hershey's and Hershey's came to my house and filmed me baking with my, and, um, it's still on their webpage if you search it um, or on, it's still on their, their Facebook, but that's what I did for a long time. And then my oldest got, and I had always been a maker since I was a little girl. Right. I mean, I'd always, I grew up making things with my dad and baking was a part of that because baking is more about the decoration and making it look really good. I still don't like to cook dinner. <laughs> But I always loved it, you know, dinner, uh, I've never, and plus dessert just tastes better, but I loved the decoration and I loved all of it. So, um, and a lot of times I'd incorporate like silhouette stuff, you know, cupcake toppers, cake toppers, that kind of thing. So, um, this is about making the food look beautiful. And, and then when Nate, my oldest was born, he started having, um, lots of developmental delays. And so by the time that Gabe, my youngest, was, he was a baby when I worked for Hershey's. So it was maybe six or eight months after that, that I realized I just could not keep up with it anymore. And so I had to stop that. And so I started crafting again when I could, because I always needed that outlet. Tammy, you know, I've always needed that. And at first it was a lot of crochet because I could take it to doctor's appointments and therapy appointments when I was sitting in the waiting room. And, um, and then eventually, um, it just kept going and it really carried me through a lot of those hard times. And then, um, for our anniversary, I don't know how many years ago, Joe got me a laser and that's how it all started here. Oh, yay. Yay. Oh, yeah. Michelle's here. Hey, Michelle. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. So working for Hershey's was cool. Juanita says it was, yeah, they were, they're fun. And it broke my heart because I quit doing all of the things. 
and um, actually started um, from home helping Joe get our construction company going, which is a whole nother story. Um, but Hershey's called me to work for them again. And I just, I'd already closed my blog and I was done and I, it broke my heart, but I just didn't have a choice. So, all right, let's, I'm going to turn my, I'm checking for, to make sure I've covered all of the areas. Let me see. I've got one more area to cover. Um, yeah, I'm glad you did too. Oh, thank you, Candy, for sprinkling. I need to choose some names. I'm going to choose a name here in a minute. Um, so when you're doing the faux ship lap, right, it's important that you get your glue all the way to the edge. Okay. That is because you want it to stick all the way to the edge, but you don't want it to stick past the edge. Does that make sense? If it does, we can sand it off. But it's a little fussier than if you're just doing faux shiplap, regular shiplap. Okay. Yes, thank you for sprinkling. Thank you for the sprinkles, Anita. Thank you, Candy. So, yeah, you have to be just a little fussier. You could technically tape this off um, if you wanted to. It is a little fussier. Okay. So... So yeah, that was, um, so yeah, I guess I went down, I don't know why I went down that rabbit trail. I guess, Tammy, like things change, right? Our lives change. Like you think you're going one direction and then something changes and you go a different direction, you know, and it's just kind of how it goes. But I'm grateful. I've always had this like love of making because it really got me through everybody I knew got a hat for a long time. <laughs> Okay, let me pick a name. Okay, let's see. Um, Candy. Okay, Candy Warden. Yay, Candy. You're going in the joyful jar. Into the joyful jar. Oh, okay. So, Michelle, no, don't worry. Just hop on whenever you can. No apologies. So, that... Okay, for those of you who are just hopping on, we are making a faux shiplap that we're going to napkin craft. So I've got Mod Podge here. We're going to napkin craft on here. And the thing that you want to make sure you do, one way that you can tell that I check is I turn my wood and kind of look at it to make sure. Because once the Mod Podge is covered, it looks a little different. So we're going to napkin craft on here. And because... When you're doing faux shiplap, it's so important that you've got these edges done well. Jennifer. Um, that you want to, I know Jennifer said she's ready to make her tear tray. I just saw my brain. Um, but you want to make sure you get in here um, really well um, so that it sticks, okay? And if it doesn't stick perfectly, don't worry. I'm going to show you what to do. Okay. So that's why we're going to do it. Yes. Um, so that's why we're doing that, Michelle. Okay. Pam did. She made a tiered tray. Super cute. She put, um, I think I want this to be black. She put, um, what did you, she put like fairy lights in it. I love how you made that tray. She posted it in um, Amy and Art's Crafting Tribe. If you haven't asked to join that group, I want you to go ask to join the group. And let me tell you why. Um, let me get the banner. One thing I do in there is I have something, if you guys have been in a, a group called Guides, okay? Uh, guides is where I share my lives into there and then I organize them. So you guys know that Facebook can be so fickle and so you're never really sure, right? And sometimes it's hard to find things afterwards. I also pin all of my free printables in there so you can go download those. Um, and then anything I do just kind of gets organized in that group so that anybody can go back and find what we've done. So if you're like, oh, hey, 
maybe this summer you want to faux shiplap something, any shape, right? Maybe you find something, you buy something, whatever. And you're like, wait, hold on. I want to go back and check that tutorial. It was a bunny. She probably did it around Easter time. So you can go check and have it organized by month. I think I still have a few to put in there um, for March, but um, I started doing that just to organize and make things easier for you guys. So go request to join that group if you're not in there already so that I can. And then we post projects in there and share ideas and questions. Sometimes people are more feel more comfortable sharing in a group as opposed to on a Facebook page, right? Um, or asking questions. I'm going to age that and distress it. So we're just going to leave that like that. So, oh, my shirt candy. Okay. Let me go back here. Let me turn this banner off. Hide current banner. There we go. Okay. My shirt came from Cotton Chaos. Isn't this cute? Um, I joined there. I'm in their t-shirt club now, but it says, um, Consider how the wildflower grows, and it's Luke 12, uh, 12 27. And then look at these cute earrings that came with it, or not came with it, but that were paired with it. So I got the earrings in the shirt. I mean, isn't that cute? Super cute. Okay, I love it. So this is almost dry too, which is good. So thank you, Diane, for sprinkling. Make sure my craft iron is turned on. So yeah, super cute. I love their stuff. I'll post a link afterward to this shirt. She's, is that group for everyone who orders your products? Sorry, you just saw my big head. No, there's going to be a private group for the Joyful Crafting Club. But pe some people, so I'm just not going to put you guys all into the private group until we get really close to the to the initial day. Um, it'll probably be closer to the beginning of April because that's when we start. Because some people thought that the boxes went out immediately and they don't, they, what they, when you joined in March, the first box goes out in April. Oh, Tammy, you're in their shirt club. Yeah, they, um, so yeah, Tammy's in their shirt club. Yeah, they have cute stuff. They're my business group too. They're great girls. They work really, really hard. Um, I want to do the paint first before and then do the Mod Podge last. So I'm just going to give this a little bit of a sanding. This is 300 grit sandpaper. Guys, this is another reason why I tell you don't buy the sanding blocks. Just, just buy the sandpaper. So you got a sanding block. You can't really get in here like this into the middle where you want your sandpaper to be where you want to be. Because the sanding blocks are so bulky. I'm going to sand this down a little bit. Hold on. Let me grab my tack cloth, guys. I'm sorry. Hold on. I just bought... They're back in my workshop. Okay. I'm right back. Sorry about that. Um, This is a tack cloth. I just, I just ordered more. So it just is sticky and it picks up the dust. Okay. So yeah, we're going to get that off and we're going to do this one. A little bit before we, and I just want to sand this a little bit before we distress it or before we dry brush it. They don't want to take the dry brush off, if that makes sense. Oh, Amy's back. I all think, yay. Thank you, Diane. I'm excited too. It's going to be so fun. It's going to be so fun. So I have some fun stuff planned for night. And like I said, super fun stuff planned. I'm just so, so excited. And I can't wait for you guys to open the boxes and see what's in there. And to see how y'all paint them. Chris says she's excited too. I'm so excited too. It's going to be so fun. We are going to have a blast. And we'll have, we'll talk about how to style them. And the reason that I love my tier trays is because 
they look so good all the time. The rest of the house can be a hot mess. And your tear tray can look great. And everyone who comes into my house stops and looks at my tear trays. Every single person. They And they're, they compliment them. And they're like, oh, these are just so cute. And they really are. Okay. It's just a fun way to add a little bit of decor to your home. Um, without breaking the bank. And I'm also going to show you guys um, fun ways to shop your house for... Um, so let's get this one. I'm trying to find a brush. Um, fun ways to shop your house for stuff to add your trays to kind of glitz it and glam it up. Right? Make it a little... You guys got a clean piece of cardboard this morning too. So I'm going to show you that. Oh, your desk at the office. Oh, so do you work from home or is that from? I'm just going to take this and just drag it down. You could drag it horizontally, but I'm going to drag it up and down and just put some little paint marks. Hey, Kim. Kim DeFranz is here. Two. Oh, Joe's watching. Hey, can you come bring me like I forgot my water cup, Joe. Can <laughs> if you're done with your call, can you come bring me water to put my paint brushes in? I mean, you can use one of my paint glasses from down here, but I forgot it. So I know he's up there, like, oh my gosh, that woman. So you could, I thought about putting like a pattern here, but the problem with the pattern is that um, this is small. When you guys see my, um, the door hanger one, right? Um, you can actually stencil on that. And it's not, it's not an outside. Like I said, it's like an interior door hanger. You can stencil on that. You can do all kinds of things on it, but But you can't, um, it's really, it, but with this being this small, you could do a super fussy pattern, but that would just take a lot of time. Okay. So. I'm going to try and sand this down in a couple places so it looks a little more distressed. Okay, there you go. All right, so let's get our napkin ready. Let's see if he shows up. Someday I'll get Joe to craft with me. Um. Oh, I know Joe, and he got bless him. <laughs> so here you he go. No, not that one. I just need my paint. I am. I. I have that. I just need water for my paint brushes. He brought me a whole whole tumbler of water. I've got this one. Here we, I am. I told him I'm going to, on my website, I'm going to put his picture assistant to the queen. <laughs> he was like, yeah, you try that. Go ahead and see what happens. <laughs> he was like, do not put me as assistant to the queen. You don't have to wash it. It can be dirty. Maybe. So I learned this method. Did you guys watch the live on Monday with um with my friend Denise and um and she was like doing this whole spit thing to open up the napkin. I still have not mastered that technique, the whole spit spit thing. Thank you, honey. And he's not gonna come near. Okay. So, yeah. Hey. Oh, so hold on. So, yeah. He will eventually. Maybe he'll come in the club. I'll make him come in there sometime and say hi to you guys. Maybe he'll paint with me sometime. Um, I don't. <laughs> 
Well, he sits upstairs and watches me craft and then comments on my stuff while I'm live. And I'm like, look, if he's going to do that. Okay, so this is the lazy girls method. I rip the edge because I can't figure out how to do the spit thing. I just, I don't know. I'm not going to use the whole napkin anyway, so I just rip it. But Denise has got that down. Okay. So we've got a lot of people. So you love the green. I think, Tammy, didn't you comment that you've got your kitchen decorated in buffalo plaid too? Um, or you have it in your kitchen? Okay. We're going to take it down to the single ply, guys. So your napkins are going to be two ply or single ply. Single ply. Um, just know that. Okay. So if we were successful in only getting it, I'm going to cut this. Um, So yeah, it's um our so someone else I saw Amy. Amy Humphrey says that her entire house is was all black, white, and gray. And you love black and white. So our last house that we built in Prosper, we live used to live in Prosper, Texas, um was black and white. With everything was white. We had a black and white kitchen. Um it was black, white, and gray. Um, and um, then we moved to Ohio and we did not build this house and it is um, all very warm. All the doors are stained wood. It has a gorgeous woodworking or stained wood. They're like a rich really warm brown. Um, I'm looking for this. And it's really beautiful. Um, I just... It's it's different. Like, I don't love the kitchen the way the kitchen is done. And I don't love... Um, like, the bathroom, our bathroom. It's... Anyway, at some point, we'll reorganize... Or re... re like, what do they call that? I can't think of the word. Jennifer, are you here? What's the word? Redecorate, re renovate. There are things I absolutely love. Like, I love our dining room. My dining room table was like meant for that room the way that it was put together. Um, I love the layout. And Joe really likes the fan in our bedroom. Right, Joe? If he's still watching. Okay, if you guys saw this fan, it, I mean, it is the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. I just, we just give each other a hard time about it. Like, the fan is, and we just haven't, re, we haven't redone our bedroom yet. And so I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to redo the fan because, take the fan down and put something else up because, when we redo it, I don't know what it's going to look like. You know, you kind of have to do that stuff all at once. At least in my head. Let me grab a box knife. Hold on. I have like 300 box knives and none of them at the table. Nice. I thought I was so organized this morning. So, anyway. Um, I will say that that is just not attractive at all. But we're going to roll with it. So let's hope that I got this right. And we're going to be able to go in here. Yeah, renovate. Yeah, I just, I don't like my, the backsplash in our kitchen. I don't like that either. I had that really gorgeous subway tile in Texas that, and I loved it. And the backsplash here, she put a row of um, like like mini squares, and I just, just not my style. So eventually, we will do it. But right now, we are are building 
Oh, well, look what I did. Well, this, I did not get it. So this is why you want to get it down to the single ply. And I didn't do that. So I'm going to pull this up. And we're going to try again. So this is why you want to get it down to the, <laughs> to the single ply. Because this will happen. And I, I did all this on purpose just to show you guys how not to screw up your work. Oh, Lordy. Okay. Well, let me just get this off of here and we're going to try again. Okay. Do not do what I just did. So that will, is exactly what will happen if you don't have it down to the single ply. It will come right off the top. So, yes, a good teaching moment. Let's, let's redo this. So I'm just going to sand this down. Jennifer, if you're boxering me now. <laughs> so, um, I know, I better make sure about this whole thing. There's like one more layer on this thing. If you're boxering me now about about this, um, so show, I think like last time I was live, I was it was a Saturday or something, and I said, "Oh, have a great Friday." Oh, okay. So yeah, this just stands off. So here's the thing, and I tell you guys this a lot. You really can't ruin these. I mean, I know people get stressed out about like, oh, I don't want it. You know, the, the, the thing that would be really, really hard to fix is if you've painted it and you want to stain it, right? Because you've got, you've got to get that paint out of the wood grain. But if you're just going to paint back over it, this is really no big deal. So we're just going to take our scoring tool, go back through there. I just want to get the fuzz off. And we're going to put a little more Mod Podge on. We're going to try again. Okay. So, yes, do not do what I just did. I just stood, sat there and told you guys to get it down to the single ply, didn't I? So, it is. It's a teaching moment. Um... Okay, so we're going to go back over this with the Mod Podge and let it dry, and then we're going to try again. I got a hot mess around here, too. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take this one and cut it. I just cut the end off my sponge because I don't need it to be all fancy, right? I can just, all I need to do is put the Mod Podge on and as long as it'll put the Mod Podge on there, we're good to go. So. All right, we're gonna do this again. Everything can be fixed. Yes, I agree, Tammy. Absolutely. So, we're taking the kids tonight because we were, um, did I tell you we were supposed to be on vacation today? Um, this week we were going to go on vacation, but we decided not to go because for spring break for the kids spring break. Um, so if you see the, the calendar in, in my free Facebook group, it's wrong. Um, but we were supposed to be gone this week and um, it just, 
we had so much going on um, that we just decided not to go. And so we made up a little staycation calendar for the kids and planned some different activities. And um, they were actually more excited about the staycation. And what I learned too, is that I think my kids needed some downtime, right? Oh yes, we were gonna go camping on the beach. Um, we have a travel trailer, Michelle. Michelle asked about that. Um, so, and we were going to go camping in South Carolina on the beach, but I love to camp. I love our travel trailer. I love spending time outdoors. I mean, all of it, just love it. And, um, it's just a great way to spend time with your family, the family too, because we make them leave their, um, we don't take any devices like no, I mean, their devices, obviously Joe and I still work. And so we have to take our devices, but um, the kids don't bring their devices when we camp and we just hang out we do play lots of games. Um, we ride bikes. We do, you know, we build all the things you do when you go camping. So. All right. Let's do this again. Yes. No perfect people here. Yeah. It's my mom. Like if you're perfect, like don't come here to my lives. <laughs> no perfect people allowed because we are all human. We all mess up. Everyone like extend grace and um, we don't expect perfection from anyone. We just show up and have fun and try right okay here we go we're gonna let this one dry and we're gonna go do this on the other side with a single ply yep i always you know some people get a little um so some of my napkins stuck over here and I'm thinking it's because that white paint was still wet. So I just sanded it off. Okay. All right. We are now down to single ply. And so we can do this again here. Um, I don't want that one. It's got a, it's got like a, hmm. but our house is the style like that. It's just very, um, and Joe and I talked, we don't want to have to like redo all the doors. You love my motto. <sighs> Down to earth kind of gal. I try. Um, you know what? I'm I'm a little older now and maybe wiser. I think when you get past a certain point in your life, you realize um some things just are not that important, right? And you start to um I'm gonna move this. And you start to think about like what really matters, right? Um and it's not a lot of the stuff that you thought mattered when you were 25. You know, um, and honestly, being a mom of a kiddo with special needs has taught me so much. Oh, hey, Lindsay. So Lindsay um, is part of the KCK team. She is amazing. We have, that's where we do, um, I've been part of their art camps for, I don't know, since last summer, I think. So go check out that group. It's KCK, KCK's free, KCK's adult art camp, free adult art camp. Um, Jennifer, if you're watching, will you drop the link? If not, I'll drop it afterwards. But um, it's a great group, great group of people. And like every... I don't know, several times a year, we do free um, art tutorials in there. So yeah, thank you, Lindsay. 
Um, okay. So this is, yeah, this is a little shelf sitting bunny. And if Lindsay's still here, Lindsay, I took this thing. I, I did the wrong thing in the middle. Okay, so we're going to pull this up. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take my box knife again. The reason I'm doing my box knife is because I, I want like a nice clean cut, right? I'm going to take my scissors. Yeah, so the group is free. Um, the art tutorials are free. If the um, When we do our tutorials, if... Um, like if there's something that that supplies that go with it, obviously it's optional to purchase. Um, you you don't have to buy the materials for that group, and like it's just a, it's a quarterly group, so quarterly or three times a year, depending on what's going on with. Mostly because they do the heavy lifting for hosting everything, um, which is oh there it is. So guys. Here's the group. If you want to like grab that link, she dropped it in the comments. It's a great group. And really, um, Lindsay and Casey's team um, do the heavy lifting for the art camp. And so it's really nice. Like they do most of the, the really hard work. And so they, it just depends on their bandwidth, whether we do it like three times a year. I know we're, we finished one in January. So probably this spring or, summer we'll do another one um but it's such a great group and they're so did you guys see how nice that just came off right there okay um there's so many fun things that you can learn and you know what i love about it is the tutorials are there they live in and so you can go back and rewatch the tutorials um if you want to participate in the craft you can and if you just want to watch you can so it's also a neat place where you can meet a lot of people who um, think like you and who love to craft. So, I'm going to hit this again on the edge. We're going to fix that. So, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Don't iron my finger. Yeah. Mm. so scroll up through the comments i'll drop it again afterwards um and i'll post it in my stories so if you go to my stories after the live i'll have a direct link there um but it's um she dropped it in the comments michelle yeah this is super fun it's a cute little bunny it's gonna be cute when it's done i'm just getting the edges real good i didn't get the edges as well as i should have and then we're gonna go down the middle again Yeah, that's good. Okay. This is dry. I've got my scraps. Pam, if you're watching, I've got my scraps. I'm putting them over here. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But I'm not going to throw them out. You know what? I need this piece. I don't know if this is single ply or not. I don't think it is, but this one is. See, I just have not perfected the whole that spit thing that Denise showed us. I don't know. Here we go. I just rip it. I mean, this is not super effective if you're going to use the whole napkin, guys. Like, right. Yeah. And so she gets different types of artists too, or different kinds of makers. Like, I obviously wood crafting. Um, Jennifer from Canvas Sign Designs uh, does tutorials for in that, that group. Um, so you get that. Um, she does. Casey actually is a painter, and so she does painting. Um, 
What else do we have in there? There's someone, sometimes, um, there's someone who does dot art, um, like dotting. So she does that. Sometimes they have some mixed media or some like, um, oh, someone did like mixed media and like uh, journaling. I mean, they're just, and so the other thing too is Casey and Lindsay are just great people. So yes, here at Lindsay's telling all the details. Yes. That's kind of what we do. Mandala dot art, watercolor, glass art, mixed media, painting. Yeah. And um, it's just, Casey is just a good person. So you guys know my oldest son has got special needs. And so she actually employs people who have special needs. I would love someday um, when, like to move out of my house like move my business out of my house into a studio. I would love to be able to do that to employ kids that have, you know, because it's just, um, just to give them a purpose and opportunities and to get a paycheck and to, you know, show up and be part of things, you know, and it's so important, especially in a place where like my son is super, super high functioning, but he still has lots of struggles and, um, you know, we're just not sure, like, where he's going to, and like, what he's going to be able to do eventually, right? And so, I love that they are, they give back. And someday I'm going, I'm going, they're only three hours from here. So, someday I'm going to go over there. Um, and hang out with them. I'm going to crash their paint studio. So... They're just in Pennsylvania somewhere. Yeah, so. Dot art. Ooh, a wire, a wire wire bonsai artist. Ooh, that's cool. Dot art is where you, um, okay. If anyone does dotting, you can correct me in the comments because I'm probably not going to get it exactly right. But you take like dots of, I think it's paint and you make patterns. It's really beautiful. And I think it's more of like a meditative type. And I'm not saying like strictly meditative, but they do, it's, it, I know the lady that comes in there, she does a lot of mandala dot art. It's really, her work is really beautiful. And she has like a crazy, people love her stuff. I mean, it's a crazy following there. Um, okay, there we go. She's a very... Okay, I'm just going to go back one more time over this and see how cute this is looking. It's kind of like a patchwork bunny. Okay. Here's the other reason why those sanding blocks are just not the thing. You can't get down in those little corners. Okay. So we're close. So now I'm going to take my scraps. I'm going to take my decor wax. Yeah. Yep. My, I've got severely ADHD, anxiety, apraxia of speech, like a lot of things, right? And um, so we went on a day trip here. I'll tell you guys a story. This is what it's, um, we went on a day trip uh, to Amish country and we had planned, look, we're going to go, I get it, Amy, like we're going to go um, and we're going to end the day with a, um, 
dinner. We were going to go to the, uh, you know, the food up there and we decided on dinner and not lunch. Right. Because Joe and I were just like, we didn't want to eat like a massive meal in the middle of the day. So, so now I'm just going to age. I'm going to age this part and then I'm going to age around the edges. Okay. With, with this. And if it looks really dark, just don't worry. I'll go back and fix it. So, um, so anyway, we get up there and we're at this cute little town and we're like, there's streets on a, um, a street with shops on each side, cute little shops, but it's, it's, um, it's a country area kind of. And so there were a lot of trucks though, going through on the road, which was just the noise from the trucks made one of my kiddos just his skin crawl. And so we were like, well, we're not going to do this. <laughs> so we left, we went to a cheese factory. He couldn't stand the smell. So we left <laughs> the smell made him like plug his nose. And he was just like, Oh, so we left there. And then, um, instead of going out to dinner, I said to Joe, I'm like, you know what? He's going to, he's about to lose it. We need to just find a playground. Like this has just been a little too much. So we found the coolest playground in Dover, Ohio, and they ran around and played for two hours. But I knew if we would have gotten in the car and come and went to dinner and then come home, he would have been crying in the car. And so um, you just have to be like super flexible. Right. And you have to always be it's, it's not you can't do. OK, our family cannot do what maybe other people can do and they do it and just kind of take it for. Um, they just kind of take it for what it is, right? Oh, yes. This green is aloe. It's a deco art Americano acrylic paint. It's aloe. Yeah, super cute. So, yeah. Um, I, I, that's the color I did this tray back here in the rustic Easter tray. Um, you know, told me about that color sign is, um, is, um, Jennifer from campus sign design. She told me to go, it was at Christmas time. She was like, go get that aloe color. And I said, okay. And I, I think it's perfect for spring too. I mean, this was kind of that green color that everybody was using at Christmas, just super, super um, trendy green that everyone was using. And that's why I got it at Christmas, but um, I love it for spring. Okay. Let's see. Super. This this little bunny will be up as a wood cutout on my website later today. Um, eight bucks. It's just eight bucks. It's not a lot of wood, and it's a quick cut. So, um, it's a super quick cut, and it's one layer. Um, no little pieces. Just the stand, right? So this is a. This will be up later today. I did not get it up before I went live, which I should have, but okay. And you could do this with anything, guys. You could take any pattern and put it here. Um, you could do any color here. You could do any, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be this particularly, but I wanted it to match the, the tear tray back there. I want to go down the middle a little bit there. And then watch. I know this looks like a lot. We're going to fix it with the um, sandpaper. Now you have to be super careful when you're going over the napkin. Because when you go back to sand it, you're going to um, remove part of the napkin. But it's supposed to look kind of aged and funky. So I'm not too worried about that. Okay. So the thing about the decor wax is a little goes a really long way. Okay. So Gail, send three issues. Yeah. So you just don't know, right? Like you're raising your kid and you just don't know, right? You don't know. And you just show up. I will tell you though, it is probably one of the best things 
the amount of joy I get and the amount of it's, 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 it's like Nate couldn't even talk. He had this really severe speech disorder. It's crazy because like now when he tells me that I suck, he'll be like, mom, you suck. I'm like, secretly i'm like yes because he can like he can talk he can tell me off <laughs> we had to go for another speech evaluation and when we moved to ohio they couldn't even believe that he ever had apraxia because he speaks so well they were like wow you don't like hardly you have to really look for it and then um i mean he'll always have it right but um then you know he just went for another evaluation we had to do for the schools and they were like the speech therapist, she's one of the best in Columbus um, for kids with apraxia. And she was like, his articulation is phenomenal. And then you get to this place where you're like, you know what? I did it. We worked really hard and we gave up a ton, a ton. Our friends were all going on vacations and building pools and we were paying speech bills for a lot, a lot of years. So, but you know, what? I'm grateful we could do it. I will never regret any of that. Okay. So, yeah, all you mamas, kiddos that have special needs, like hats off to you because it is, it is a tough, it is tough. And you make decisions that are the best. I love this color green too. And I really like how he's turning out. So see when I sand this decor wax down a little bit, guys, it's going to actually look like the wood is showing through. So it kind of helps age it. And I am intentionally kind of going at this um, napkin lightly just because I want it to look a little rough and aged, okay? I don't want it to look at this. I don't want this one to look perfect. So I could fuss with this for a while, but I really like him. I'm going to give this a sand, and then we're going to finish the bunny because I think we're going to add a bow. Yeah. You, you get to where you're like... So Nate is 11 and um, they give him breaks during the school day because he needs them. Um, he does. He needs a break during the school day. And I said he's bored. Like he's just doesn't, you know, he doesn't just want to sit in like, so they gave him a job at the school and he's like kills it. He, he delivered 14 packages in 15 minutes. I mean, he just... He's just, if you give him a job and he understands what he's supposed to do, he, I think black was the right choice. Okay. So here we go. We're going to, we're not quite done. Hang around. Cause I'm going to pick some names here in a minute. Black was the right choice. I want to add a bow. Okay. You could seal this. I'm not going to seal it right now. Cause, um, that's too big. Oh, Pam. So Pam, thank you, Pam. Um, Pam and I have been friends since Nate was born. I think we figured out, right? She's seen like all of it. I didn't talk about it for a long time on social media because I just didn't say anything. Okay. Let me get my good scissors. Um, he, I want him to have a bow. So yeah, this is fun, guys. This little guy is fun. Um, I, and I can make, the thing is with the wood cutouts, I can do them for like any season. You can shiplap them and do this. And so like we could do a bird for um, spring. You could do a butterfly. You could do like a sunshine might be a little tricky. But, um, you know, any like basic shape, you can turn it into shiplap and you can use this technique, okay? A heart for Valentine's Day. Um, like any shape. Okay. So we're going to see if I can get the bow right the first time. I always have to think about this. So I'm going to take the stand off. Okay. Yeah, and the ADHD is a real thing. We're just going to leave that there, but it is a real thing because it is hard, hard, hard.
Okay. Yeah, we, um, you know, I just wasn't sure. I wanted to talk about things because I didn't know. I always forget how to do this because I think the bottom goes, no, that's backwards. So you're going to make a loop with the bottom one, I think. So yeah, but the crafting got me through all of that. I guess that's why I got started on that crazy rabbit trail today. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm going to get my ribbons the way I want them underneath before I cinch it too tight. This is just gross grain ribbon, 5 8 inch. Um, okay. Oh, let me show you guys too before you hop off, before we're done. I forgot to show these at the beginning. If you haven't seen these, I've got these. These are only up until tonight. They're going to come finished. I can, um, it's, it's a steal of the week. Um, they're eight bucks finished. They're going to come just like this with a personalization on them. Jute hanger. I won't tie the jute hanger. You can get it with a bow or without a bow. Um, and I'm going to turn it off tonight. So you can order them through tonight and then I'm going to bust them all out in like one bulk, which is why I can do them for such a great price. When you have one at a time or two at a time, it's so much more time intensive. But when you do like a bulk order like this, I can batch them and get them done in a fraction of the time, which is why I decided to do it. Um, so these are up and I can ship them. Like if you want them shipped to your grandkids or wherever, you know, you can just put that in the, um, I mean, per order, right? One order can go to one place, um, but I can ship them to wherever you want them. And it will, they're going to look, they're basket, Easter basket tags. So they're super cute. So I love them because every Easter, my kids um, try to take someone else's basket. Um. So yeah, these are up on the site until until tonight and whenever midnight or whatever that is. Okay, I'm just fussing with the bow. I really don't have to, but I'm going to. Okay, so I think I want to fishtail them. I just don't want it that wide. Yeah, it's just gross grain ribbon. And because it's um, a smaller bow, it's going to hold its shape. So I'm not really worried about. Um, having a wired ribbon for this. Oh, Pam, you're going to use your basket tags on a wreath. That's going to look so cute. It's going to look so you're so creative. So cute. So cute. So yeah, this is. And Jesus, right click this. Oh, Tammy, you have 11. Oh my gosh, that is a blessing. There are, in my family, there are six. My, my mom has six grandkids. 11 is a lot of grandkids. That's a blessing. Okay. So there's the bunny. Let me put the stand on it. Let me, here we go. Let me take my, let me take my, um, so look, there he is. Isn't he cute? You could, if you wanted to like glue the bow the bow loops in place, but look how cute he is. He's going to look so cute next to that tear tray too. Just super cute. He, you can't see the aging because of my, my lights, but he's aged. All right. Let me put, um, I know he's so cute. Let me pick a few, a few more names. I need, I think four more names.
uh, Amy, yeah, with the ADHD. So I've read about that, that a lot of times people are not, at, women are so missed as having it, especially when they have trouble. They do great in school. They miss the whole, um, but it's a superpower. Like if you have it, okay, Rosario, let's get your name. Rosario del Gadio. So yeah, and if you do well in school, they don't look at it, you know. Um, and but it's a superpower. Um, and I tell my kids like they can focus on what they want to focus on, and like dig into it. And wow, it's amazing, right? What they can do. Okay, two. I need three more. Uh, Pam. Okay. Amy Humphreys. Yay. Congrats, ladies. I'm just writing your names down. I got to grab one more. Tammy Waterworth. All right, ladies, you're all in the joyful jar. It's I'll, I'll pull a name about the end of the month and then um, I'll post it on my page. What I do is I post it on my page, what I'm sending you, and I tag you. So look for that so that you can shoot me your, your information. The winner will get tagged on my page. But thank you guys for hanging out and crafting with me. He turned out so cute. Something cute to put next to your, um, your tear tray. I hope you guys have an awesome Friday and awesome rest of the day. And um, I'll see y'all very, very soon. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye.